When people ask me what should I study to really get the contemporary vision of rational, comprehensive, structured vision of Hinduism, I say, look, I have picked up everything I know from Swami Vivekananda's lectures that he gave in the United States. This poor man was driving from one city to another city, you know, in a horse and cart, not be, be, being fed, not being looked after, sometimes kicked out of hotels because of his skin color. And yet he carried on with his, well, he didn't say sour word to the Americans, he just carried on putting in spiritual, sowing the seed of spiritual in the West. And those lectures were actually fortunately recorded by a stenographer called J.J. Goodwin, who became a, let me tell you the story of Goodwin. Goodwin was employed by some people who knew Vivekan in America to say, okay, wherever Vivekan goes, you should go and do shorthand uh, in the writing of his lectures. This is how we got these records. And Goodwin said, okay, for a small sum of fee, some fee, small fee, he will do it. After listening to Vivekan for the first lecture, he went with folded hands and said, please, I don't want any money, but don't let me go ever. I want to stay with you all my life. And this is what he did. He spent all his life with Vivekananda. This is a beautiful story of an Englishman called Goodwin. Now, so the lectures that he gave were written up by Goodwin, and that is how I, for example, came across the teaching of Vivekananda. Thus, I would have been a dunce in, in spiritual matters. Now, if you say, what should I study? If I say, oh, study the complete works of Vivekananda, let me warn you, it is like swallowing too much. You know, like a baby swallows too much and gets in a mess and starts puking. It is very concentrated. I'm telling you, I'm not trying to stop you. So if you want to start your journey, start by looking at the life of Vivekananda, not his teachings, because his life reflects the evolution of humanity from being kind of weaned on Puranic stories, becoming intellectual and then challenging religions, becoming an atheist. See, this is the story of humanity, becoming an atheist and then finally coming across somebody who says, spiritual is a matter of experience for me and I give it to you. That is the real story of how humanity becomes spiritual. So this life story of Vivekananda and then how he used this particular spiritual experience he had for the betterment of others. This is a beautiful story, a real lovely like modern vision of evolved vision of Hinduism coming up. So you study the life of Vivekananda rather than, uh, if you look at the biography of Vivekananda by Swami Nikhilananda, I think that's a very good way to start your journey. free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.